Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca, and this is the Bauer Ultrasonic Pad Snapshot Review, Initial Review, and Comparative to the 2S Pro. Obviously, I can't get these on the ice. They're borrowed from a store. They're not mine. I do have an order of these. In. I ordered a pair, um, but I don't have them yet because I'm not special. So, the gloves are in separate videos, so check those out. Uh, I compare them to the Vapor gloves and to the previous versions that I had. And so like the 2S Pro and I had a 1S, but basically 2S. Um, so check those out too, because I think they're helpful and you might like them. So the Ultrasonic, uh, it's a pretty big change from the 2S Pro. And I think it's Bauer's biggest change since like the 2X and the 1S. Because like the 1X was a kind of a small tweak. Then the 2X was like, oh, we changed a bunch of stuff. This is... I'm surprised there's so many differences in this compared to the 2X because I was I already thought the 2X was going to a really good spot. Um, so right off the bat, these aren't. This is a large. This is an XL. You probably saw if you've ever seen my videos, you've probably seen these pads. Um, the biggest thing right off the bat, the boot. The boot is way softer. Bauer has a great custom program now. A few years ago, uh, I said it was the worst in the business by far, especially for colors and stuff like that. Now full custom colors ton of different options you can get a soft boot like this or a fused boot like or a stiff boot like this and i'll you can see the boot like not moving at all um compared to a soft boot which moves a lot this is really closer to the vapor how the vapor boot plays but it still has an angle where the vapor vapor boot is more flat you'll see that in a different video this is they're giving you the option the stock one will be softer i have a feeling that works for more people um, so I tried both of these on just before I did this video with skates on and they both end up lining up in kind of the same area in terms of my knee. Well, this one is a little smaller, but this one's like right in the middle anyways. So I was thinking of going with a large with the ultrasonics end up going XL cause I'm happy with my two X pros, um, and going, and I'm happy I did that. Cause when I put these on, they didn't feel huge where these ones, the fused boot kind of, I feel pushes the pad up a bit more. This one, it didn't feel like that when I was just wearing it really quickly. So that's, in my opinion, a good change, but that is a change. Stiffness on this is stiff. Um, you can see that's me really trying to bend these pads. The old one was, now these are used, but I'm, these were, were um, these were, in my opinion, softer, the 2S, than, the, than these are, than the ultrasonic. So they stiffened up the thing there. And I think that's a good idea because I still think the vapors are super stiff anyways. Um, but that's, yeah. So this is nice that this is a bit stiffer. These are like the stiffest pads on the market. So unless you order custom, this is basically the stiffest you'll get off a retail shelf. So, all right. So the first thing I'm going to cover is what comes in the pad um, with the pad, I should say. So you have these straps, which is for the bootstrap. You have this, which is also for the bootstrap and you have screws and loops also for the bootstrap. I have a video explaining how to do the bootstrap connections. So you can check that out if you want. The reason I went over this package is Bauer is including something new, which is this. So this is, I can't remember exactly what this is called, what strap this is called. This is their upper calf strap. Um, I will be going over how to install this on another video, um, but I will talk about this later when we get to that part of the pad itself. The first thing I want to address is the graphics um, because Bauer for the longest time had the worst custom graphics you could order. And now I think they're the best. Um, well, Brian still does cut and sew and does full to custom, but Bauer is doing the graphic printing and some people might not like that. That's fine. I want to give them huge credit for this one. I think this is a good graphic. Um, it does allow you to cut up the zones and it's very clean. Of course, they're forcing you only three color zones really, but it, they're still with that. You get a clean design. I couldn't get a nice looking design of the axis pad. So that's kind of, why I like this. I love the tiny details, like the all through it. Hopefully that comes off on camera, like the little triangle things and just all the little details. And again, the indenting is always kind of cool on that um, as well as on the side. I like that small details. I think these look really good, especially with colors. Um, so I got to give him props for that because I think it's pretty cool. Now on to the pad itself. You can see the indents and in that this is obviously an all white pad. Um, again, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about this, like the location of these pads i can never really get a good view of this unless i had something hanging overhead and i don't have uh i don't have an object to hang overhead for the camera so 
I'm doing my best here. Um, okay, let's look over here really quick. We'll do kind of the outside. It does look like it's been slimmed down. I'm not sure if they really did that there. They did definitely remove the wear part here to a much smaller size. I never noticed if this, like this wasn't an issue on my vapor pad, so I'm guessing they figured out this material, the Cortec, uh, to be able to kind of shrink that down. Um, the face is pretty, stand, like it's basically the same. Offset toe ties, now you have their bootstrap, or sorry, the elastic bootstrap with no more monster logo, which is nice. See, Bauer listens and changes. The minute that crap went down, took it right off. Um, thigh rise, I know this is gonna be a, a spot of contention. A lot of people hate this thigh rise design. I don't care. Um, I think it looks, it does kind of look like a tooth. And it kind of looks weird sticking out here. It's unique. Maybe people won't like it. I, I think it looks okay. I'm not gonna really complain about it. Um, but yeah, the, the pads are unbelievably stiff. So like one of the stiffer cores there are, it's just how Bauer pads have been for a while. Um, so I guess the next part we should talk about is the inside edge. So this is one of the big changes that Bauer has done from the 2X and as well as the 2S Pro is what they did to this inside edge. So gone is this binding, but that was gone on the 2X, so you kind of expected that. But now this is all one piece, and I'll talk about that in a second. Um, and then you still have your kind of slightly recessed calf right here with that coverage right there. And the biggest disappointment on these pads for me is Bauer still has not fixed the wear guard issue. So there it is right there, there it is right there. When the 1S came out, I talked to a Bauer rep um, and I said, how did you manage to put that nylon binding all through the edge? And this wasn't covered at the time. That's gonna wear out like right away. So what did you guys do? And they said they couldn't because it would have to delay the release. We're how many years later and this is still a thing. My 2X Pro, this is the only wear point on my 2X Pros. Well, and these kind of fall off, these little stitching. But this is the only wear point on my 2X Pro. Why isn't this covered or recessed? Every other company has that figured out. Why isn't it done here? That's super disappointing to me that that's still a thing. And even like this is gonna get caught up too. Why? Fix it, put it on the other side of this material. Like you can easily just have this kind of uh, sit over or have this extend, it's not hard. Super disappointing in that. But I mean, honestly, that's kind of the most of my disappointment for these pads. So that's pr probably a good thing. Okay, so the next big change that they have and they're gonna advertise this a lot is this is now sloped right here. So it has less surface area for better sliding. So if you ever watch one of my videos and you should have, you should know that I'm a huge proponent of math and physics and the formula for friction doesn't include surface area. It doesn't matter. It's the coefficient of friction that matters. This material, if this is longer, isn't gonna make a difference. Why? Like you have the best sliding pads on the market and I put that with an asterisk which I'll get to. Why are you doing this? Um, so I don't like that. but. Whatever. I didn't notice it like being rounded when I went down really quickly, but I haven't worn them in a game, so I can't really talk about that. So the knee block too, it doesn't really have the bump anymore, the pro bump that they had before, but the knee block is so different that they're gonna, when I cover that in a bit, it's gonna make sense. Um, and oh, so I wanna get back. So the asterisks of, asterisks of the sliding, I believe Von SLRs are better sliding. Um, all over on. So I made a mistake because these are second best. Von SLRs twos are better sliding all around. Brian's is better than these in perfect conditions. Once the ice gets bad, Bauer goes ahead and Bauer's stuff slides better than Brian's does. But besides the SLRs slide better than all of them, SLR twos, and then these, in my opinion, all the Bauer stuff was second, kind of with Brian's depending on the ice conditions. Uh, okay, so that's about it for this area. And I'm probably gonna get flamed for that, but like prove it and Prove it with math. It doesn't work. So next, we are looking at the knee block. Um, this is their stability slide design. Uh, this knee block is all new, and it's their big change on this. And I think this is one of the biggest changes in goalie pads for a bit, and I'll kind of, well, we'll show why. So the idea of this is this is built into the pad core. 
So this no longer just sits on top with Velcro. Like Velcro and stitched right here. Like you can put your fingers behind the foams and stuff like that. It's no longer like that. So they found a way to build it into the pad itself. So now when you push down on this pad, the block doesn't move. And that's me pushing on it. That's as far as it goes. That's all my force. When you push down, it doesn't move. When you push this, give it this another way. That's like no force and that's what's happening. Even the best pads I have right now for this, which is the Optic 2, move with your hands. So you push your knee in, it's gonna drive that first, then it's gonna drive the pad. CCM has been doing a bunch of strapping tech and they in research that they talked about where um, basically it's so you have quicker drive on your pads down to the ice. So your pads are more responsive and they cover the ice faster. Well, how can you get quicker drive than that? That's just, like the, the thing doesn't move. It's part of the pad. It's super, super, super impressive. And I kind of want to show this off. So hopefully it will come off in camera. So the interesting part about this is that you can see the build of the pad itself. And try to get this in there. And under there, and you can feel it. So that's the core. It's styrofoam. Um, I think they'll call it power light foam or something. It's basically styrofoam. So that is into the core though. You can't, I couldn't find a way to see any more of that. Um, you can kind of come over here too. And it's in there though. That thing is not moving and that's a very interesting design. So not only does this just have, because it's so stuck in there and it's not a separate piece, you can't really undo the elastics, change the elastics out. The other nice thing is it doesn't have those little flaps that hold all the pieces together. Like the vapor does, it gets stuck in your pants. That's all gone because it's all just sewn in. Um, the cool thing about this, and this is kind of like what I like, is when people find solutions to things. So what happens when your elastic goes? Well, your elastic just undoes like that, and you can swap out your elastic. Great idea. Hopefully this piece doesn't break. I can't see it really ripping apart. Probably an easy fix anyways. Um, but great idea right there. Awesome design. Absolutely love it. I'm super stoked to use these. And I think this is going to be a huge, huge like step. Okay, not as huge as the One S's were, but like a huge step forward in pad design. And other companies are going to try to follow this come, going forward. And everyone's going to be chasing this. That's pretty, pretty awesome. Um, next, knee wing, removable knee wing, just like all the previous ones. I do like how it's Velcroable, so you can put it in the three different areas. Um, I like how it's bigger than the, like it's pretty solid size. I use this because I found in the past, um, Desperation says my knees would pop out and down here it would pull the pad too high. So I would have to always do this pretty tight to there on all my Bauer pads, just kind of the way it is. The other thing I want to talk about is this really cool material on the backside. So Bauer has, and Bauer's customization, which unfortunately this doesn't really show off. So this is all obviously an interesting nylon Bauer use. It has like a texture to it. All this is color changeable now. So before it was a black and like the vapors were a few colors. Now you can do like a ton of different colors on the backside and on the foams, which is like this or like stuff down here, which is really interesting. And I'm really happy Bauer is doing that. Gives you a lot more options. Um, so this material, I don't see it mentioning that it is their, um, I always forget what it's called, the thermo core or whatever. I don't see it mentioning it. It's like a soft Nash. It's Interesting, like the Supreme letters give it grip, which is kind of interesting. I think that's on purpose. Um, and it's, this doesn't have grip. It's also right here, if you couldn't see it. It gives it some uniqueness and some personality. The old one has Supreme sublimated down here, but it's not as nice as this stuff is. It feels really high quality. Bauer does an awesome job of materials in this to make it all feel really high quality. You have your abrasion zones too, right here, which is where like your el elastics from your knee guards or something might rub or on your pants. And that's, I like how that's right there. Um, they do that on the gloves. So I'm a huge fan of it being there too. I guess we'll switch these around and open these up to show off the wonderful new strapping. Um, gone is the worst strapping besides Vaughn pads in a long time. And specifically the Vaughn VE8s with their horrible magnetic clips. Um, this strapping is basically vapor to be totally honest um, with slight tweaks. So. The old Supreme had a lower calf, which you could just take off, had this piece. Then it had this CRS custom rotation system that had to go like that and then like this. And there's a super pain. This was super annoying. I, I heard like two people say they like it. I hated it. Um, it got in the way. It didn't feel that all that great. It's gone. 
Um, what they have now is one on the outside and very similar to, it's basically vapor strapping right there. Like you saw all the pros that use this. Um, like all the pros use this strapping, a really similar strapping. And it's, they just moved to the better one in my opinion. You can get these still pretty loose. You can adjust them here and you can use longer straps. I think I, I don't think I had an option to order how long those were though. But it, honestly, you could take these straps off, just use this and then use this one too and you'd be fine. My one, I like the new material they're using here. I don't know what it's called. It's not the same as the Aerolite foam. It feels a little more abrasive resistant. So it's a little slip, like more slippery, um, but it's a nice material all the way through. It's kind of on the insides too. That, um, I like that change. My one complaint about these, I think these pads, we'll talk about, I'll talk about it in another video. This could probably be on the outside to make it a wider channel, light channel. I think it's a little too tight and I think it could have changed some stuff a bit, but that's whatever. Um, the next really awesome change, and it's almost like Bauer listens to videos. Maybe they do. Um, I'm not giving myself any credit. No one cares about me. But the reason I say that is there's now a pillow. So you have this butterfly assist pillow that goes right here and you have like this little window and it sits right there. The idea of that is so it pushes your calf down when your knee's not all the way on the ice. Brian's optic has it. When I wore, reviewed the optic pad and I wore the optic, pad, optic one pad, I said these are feel like cheating because a calf is always on the ice even if my knee isn't, if I'm sliding around. This, that's kind of the goal for these. My previous complaints about all Bauer pads in the last while is that because of the way the calf system is designed, it's really hard to get, it, it's basically like a, you have to be perfect technique. If your leg lifts up a bit, puck's going in. So if you're not totally flush, it's not, like, it's not gonna help you. The pad's not gonna help you and your technique has to be right. Where the Bryans kind of cheats a little bit for you. So I would compare them to players irons versus um, game improvement irons in golf. Game improvement irons are really thick, thick heads that help if you screw up, they kind of help you and they put it down the fairway. Players irons are for like the best of the best. They're super thin. Basically they give you the best performance, but you have to be able to hit it with technique. These were the technique, but now they're adding features of that game improvement type things to make them, I think a little bit better. I wore these next to these with skates on to see if there was a big difference. There is, you can definitely feel a difference. Um, it's honestly, it felt way better on my ankles because my ankle wasn't, my leg wasn't totally flat on the ice. So that was really nice. It definitely feels raised. So it kind of gives your like leg an angle a bit and it feels really awesome. Kova does something like that for their entire pad and it's kind of cool. Um, but they, this, so it definitely felt better that way, but it didn't feel like the calf was on the ice when I lifted my early ground, when I lifted my knee. So it's not quite the Brian's optic version, but it's kind of a step towards that. I don't know how you could do that. I would think making it bigger, but this calf, like I don't know how much thicker you could really make that, but it's kind of the design too, because it feels like it's kind of recessed in this. So it's almost like cheating. If this wasn't a cutout, so I kind of wish this was flat all the way through and the Velcro was here and then you put it there, because then you wouldn't have it like recessed at all and it would be like another layer. But I'm not sure why they decided to cut that out, but you can take it out if you don't like it. So it's just like the old ones. But with that said, I do, I like the idea and I like it moving to that direction. I think it makes it better. So again, I'll have a video on this, which is their new strapping system, which there's two little tabs right here. So you can pull it out, put it in. Vaughn made this popular with their, um, their quick motion strap or something. I can't remember what it's called on their SLRs. And then they've kept it going forward. Passau did one for forever. I think one of their reps named it the professor strap or something. Um, regardless, Bauer has it now too. So I'll, again, I'll do a video showing how you put that in. Um, I was, it's, I don't understand really this. This this to me, I was originally disappointed this wasn't elastic. It, kind of, it feels kind of cheap. You have like your little, it's just Velcro extended, which is nice to pull it off, but it feels, this is cheap. They could have done better. All these are way better, way nicer than what this is. So I'm kind of disappointed in that. Bauer does a decent job on straps. CCM does a great job on straps. Um, so I think this one definitely could have been a little nicer, but I mean, whatever. I, it's, I'm not saying whatever it's possible. I just wish they did it differently. So this is weird to me because it has your buckle, but then it has Velcro. So I get the Velcro, the Velcro. So when you put it actually in and wear it, the Velcro is so you can adjust. So 
so how tight it is around your leg. But that's kind of what the, bel the buckle does too. My problem with the Velcro is that if I want to undo this, I can't just unbuckle it, right? I have to unbuckle it and then Velcro it and then you step in. That why? Like, all you have to, why? I don't understand why this, I guess it's to get away from the elastic and I was kind of disappointed that this wasn't elastic. And honestly, this material is like not very nice. Every version of this I've seen is better. The Passau version is better because it has like Nash. This is a little bit of foam in there, but it's not really nice. It's almost like it's an afterthought. So that's pretty disappointing. But the part that is nice, I mentioned it doesn't have elastic. It doesn't, but the piece that connects right here does. So when you actually loop this in and pull it, it does stretch just like if it was elastic. So it will stretch with your leg and how your natural movements are. So it should be fine. Um, I have no issues really with that. And that's actually a pretty smart design in their sense. Um, in their like motion. I just don't really like how this was implemented. I get what they did for this. Like, okay, I get it. Why don't you just have a hook? Like you don't need padding right here on the outside of your leg. You can just have a hook. And this can kind of go over. Like I think Brian's does this a little, this, this part definitely better. Um, Vaughn's is way better, but this one's okay. I'm gonna try it when I get these, just, just basically pull out all the strapping, leave just this, this, and that, and see how it is. Even maybe take this off and see how this is. But for the time being, um, I can only talk about what it is right here. We can go with the boot, but the boot is honestly, basically it's no ch real change besides the thing on there. All right, so very final piece of this is the seal on the ice. And I mean, I shouldn't even have to do this at this point because it's a bower pad and it seals amazing. Nothing there. The thigh rise on these things is solid. That's gonna be great. It does wobble a bit more because of that angled calf. Um, but once you put weight on it, you should be good. That one's a little bit more stable. But once you put weight on it, you should be good and there shouldn't be any issues. Um, this is, I, I'm assuming you can tell by the way I'm talking about this, I'm super impressed by this pad. I'm super impressed by this entire, like the gloves and the pads. I haven't seen the chest yet. Um, I didn't think they were gonna do much for this. And I knew that, that this was coming. Um, and I, I kind of saw the changes and I, I don't agree with this, but I saw the changes and I'm like, yeah, we'll see. And legit, this is really interesting. Um, like these are very impressive. I, I don't know what they can do with the 2X besides just make this pad softer. Uh, but watch my 2X video because I'm gonna go over why I think Bauer is kind of a little off with how the, their two pads are. Um, but this thing is great. Um, I'm really impressed by it. I think Bauer did a lot of really awesome things. The one thing that is still up in the air is the durability. People talk about the pucks through it. I haven't had any issues with my Bauer gear for durability. People have, people have shown the photo. So I don't know, I can't talk about that obviously because I haven't worn it, but it still kind of looms there. And that's kind of what happens when you make them like make the one S's. Um, but I'm super impressed by this line. It's like these pads are awesome. I, I have optic twos, I'm waiting for G5s. Um, axis are out um, and I want to try, I want this set on the ice the most. So that, I think that says something. Um, I'm really impressed by them. They're really awesome. A good job. Like I, I feel like Bauer's listening and that's a good thing. Um, but anyways, thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully it was helpful. Remember to subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, hit the bell icon on YouTube. Um, so you get notified when I make new content. If you ever do buy a piece of gear because of one of my videos, Please shout out to manufacturer, let them know. Helps me get on the radar, so hopefully I can do this stuff with actual gear that I can use and not just this demo set. Um, and get it not just off the truck. So, finally, remember to check out a bunch of my other videos where I compare these to the pad, 2X pads, where I compare the blockers. I have a ton of videos of these coming out, so check them out. Um, if they're not out by this video, because this one will be the first one, check back in the next few days. It will be out then. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and take it easy.